Hi Humanotes! This is a tutorial video on how to run a validator node remotely. On a first step, we are going to set up and deploy a cloud VPS. You can choose whatever provider that suits you. Please make sure the specifications meet our official system requirements. 4 CPU cores, 4 GB RAM, 160 GB disk space, 100 MB per second internet connection. We currently support Ubuntu 20.04. Please set your VPS accordingly. And set up the password you want to use for the login. Once you deploy the VPS, the provider will review your order and give the login credentials. Don't share it with anybody. This will be your credentials to the VPS you just created. Now it's time to download and install the Humanode Launcher. You can easily find it on our main website, humanode.io. Now the launcher is ready. Let's create our workspace. Click Start on the Remotely section on the right. On this page, you will see input fields for entering the parameters of your remote VM. Username is usually root unless you change it. If you set up a password during your VPS creation, click More Connection Options. Click the drop-down menu and choose Password. You will be prompted for password input upon connection. You can easily find SSH key of your cloud server in the interface of VPS provider you chose. You can also choose another way to connect, whichever you prefer. Let's connect! Upon successful connection, the installation process will begin. Choose the main ad chain and click Install to initiate the installation process. It's time to configure and launch your node. Click the Settings tab. You can set up a node name and this will show on the telemetry. Check the Run as Validator box and click Apply. Now let's check if there's any update available. If our node is updated, we're good to go! Scroll to Key Management. Click Insert Mnemonic. You can use the existing mnemonic of your Polkadot.js or Talisman wallet or generate a new one from the launcher. In this video, we are going to generate a new set of mnemonic. Remember, you will need some HMND in this wallet to pay the network fees. You can get HMND from the available exchanges like KuCoin, Maxi, Bitmart, BingX, etc. After generating the mnemonic, keep a backup for yourself and type or paste the mnemonic in the box. Once again, make sure to save your mnemonic key. Click Humanode tab and start the node. Now you have to wait for the node to sync. You can check the node sync progress from the lock screen which shows the syncing status, the target block your node needs to sync to, and the current finalized block by your node. As the blockchain is growing, it may take some time for the node to sync. You can relax for now. We'll continue to the next steps when the node is synced. As you can see, now the node is synced. Blockchain sync status in the checklist has turned green. You will need a handheld device like a phone or tablet to capture the biometric data. Scan the QR code on the launcher with your phone. And on your phone, click set up the node and then enroll. From now on, you will be doing the steps on your mobile device. At the same time, you can always see the lock on the launcher to know what's happening with the node. Follow the prompts and scan your biometrics. You're now registering your biometrics to the system. Remember, this is a one-time process. You are binding your biometrics to the wallet you had set during the node configuration process. When the enrollment is successful, you will no longer be able to change your wallet as this will be the wallet you use for the node until the next server reset. After the enrollment is complete, go back then click on Rotate and Set Session Keys. This operation submits a transaction, so you need to have tokens to pay the network fee. Now that we have set and rotate our session key, it's time to authenticate. On your mobile phone, click Authenticate then follow the prompts. When the authentication is complete, you'll obtain an auth ticket, you can see it on the log tab. 
This means all steps has been done correctly. As you can see, all indicators are now green except for validator status. Don't worry! For a new node, this will turn green after a node completes two epochs, the current one and the next one. Now you're officially a human node. Congrats! Don't forget to re-authenticate every seven days to maintain your authentication status. Thank you for supporting the Humanode Network. In case you need further assistance, don't hesitate to reach us out on Telegram or Discord. Until then, see ya!